It's been more than two months since the Elden Ring DLC has been out, and I think enough time has passed where people won't judge the bosses simply because they died to them hundreds of times. So, I decided to create a tier list of every DLC boss and give them the ranking they deserve. We got... Ancient Dragon Man. I think that boss fight was pretty good. We get to get one of the really cool katanas. And I'm gonna put that like C tier. I think it was pretty good. D e tier? No way. Like D tier is like bad. Like C tier is mid, but not in like a bad term. Like it was a it was a decent fight. And then we got Ancient Dragon Ses Senesax. I don't even remember fighting this guy. I think he's on the way to get to that the the dragon communion, but I think the reskin bosses are kind of kind of like unfair to be judged. So I think I'm gonna put that at F tier. Yeah. So anything like let's see. Yeah, Death Bright Bird. Yeah, Falling Star Beast. And all the the dragon the dragons are pretty much just reskinned. Yep. Drakes. Yeah, the tree, the tree sandals. I think that was a really weird place to put them in. The bear? I did fight the bear. I thought the bear fight was pretty cool. I think the first time I fought it, I had like two summons with me and then there was also an invader. We were fighting like two enemies on the same, uh, on two different fronts. So I'm gonna say it's C tier. I wouldn't say it's bad. We got Rakshasha. I don't remember this guy. This is the guy that gives the other cool katana. I think I'm gonna put him at E tier because I, if, I, if I don't remember him, then it's, it's not very memorable. We got Black Jail Knight. I think it was pretty cool. He's he's like really close to B, maybe at the top of C. Whoa, whoa, whoa. why are you saying easy fight E? It's not about it's not about difficulty. It's about like a lasting impact. Like he's like a cool boss fight, isn't he? I think he belongs in C tier at least, top of C tier. The Dancer of Rana, which I think. It was pretty sad that they put her down there instead of uh, in the flower field like the trailer. And the cool moveset that we get from her swords kind of makes up for it. I'm gonna say that's C tier as well. Uh, Chief Blood Fiend. I think that's a pretty bad boss. We get a we get a nice weapon, but still, boss itself is kind of eh. We got Black Knight, Edred, pretty much the same thing, but reskin. They have some really cool new moves, and they kick your ass. But I think just in general, they're like D e tier. No, wait. It's it's better than Chief Blood Fiend, I think. Okay, we got Red Bear. This guy was annoying to fight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him at D tier. Oh, we got, we got Yoda. This was a pretty good fight in my opinion. Like it's one of the first few fights that you, you get like right when you go into the DLC. F tier for Ymir. Hold on, I'll, I'll come back to that because he's definitely not F tier. <laughs> like some of you guys are so, so hard when you judge these guys. Lamenter. Okay, so that's the guy that spawns like multiple clones of himself. That one was so annoying. It was. That was the tier. I hated that boss. Jory at F tier? Who's Jory? Oh wait, no, that's not the guy. It's this guy. So Jory, yeah, E tier. So I don't remember Lamenter. If I don't remember, I guess I'm gonna put ID. Okay, we got Curse Blade, Labyrinth, the one that can throw stuff. Annoying, but not, I wouldn't say it's a bad boss. I'm gonna put him at D tier. Okay, we got Demi Human Queen. Okay, yeah, that's another E skin, so easy F tier. Death Knight, I think the Death Knights were actually really cool when they added it. They do have a really annoying mechanic where they grab you and they get their health back. I think that was, I think that was weird, but I'm gonna say it's a B tier fight. Both of those. And then I get to count Ymir, and yeah, his boss fight was so, it's so unique that it's so annoying, but at the same time, it's also kind of fun, depending on what kind of build you're doing. I say he's a easy, easy C tier. Yeah, we got Golden Hippo, I'm gonna say that's, uh, I'm gonna put him at E tier. Right here. I thought it was, I thought the hitbox wasn't too bad when I first played it, and then I played it again, and no, the hitbox is so bad. Divine Beast Dancing Drag uh, Lion. I'm gonna put that at A tier. Very close to S tier actually, but some of the some of the moves I think are a little bit too much. Putrescent Knight. I'm gonna put that at C tier. It's a pretty cool boss design wise. I think that's why he deserves C tier, not D tier. I'm gonna put Midra at S tier. Pretty good boss, lore wise and design wise, and the animations are so smooth. Uh, Met here. I'm gonna put that at F tier. I really, really don't like this boss. Like, I think some of the people agree with it. You can't see it? Okay, here you go. I think I have to just scroll up a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Shadow Tree Avatar, I think deserves C tier. Uh, not cooler than Putrescent Knight. Yeah. Romina is gonna be a C tier. She wasn't that great, to be honest. 
Pikachu is really annoying. Rolana, uh, uh, S here. Oh wait, I forgot this red bear. I'm gonna put that right here, right next to the other red bear. You got Mesmer, S tier, definitely. Very close. Like, Rolana and Mesmer is like really close for me. Although I think Mesmer still comes out on top. Probably better than Midra, yeah. Yeah, Midra is third place right now. Romina, S tier. You guys, you guys actually like Romina's boss fight? Cause I didn't. I think Gaius is a pretty cool fight animation wise. But yeah, the hitboxes are pretty annoying. So I'm gonna put them at the top of B tier. First golems are D tier. Really cool visual wise. I love seeing them on the map, but I would not take the time to fight them at all. Bale the Dread. Very easy S tier. I think I think he would have been like even even just by himself without Igon's Egon's uh voice line, like it's pretty much S tier. And then Egon just like solidified it. Ah, he's like so close. I think it's this is better than Rolana in my opinion. And then we got Radon. Now this this is tough because I actually like fighting Radon, but not as much as I also want to. He's definitely not S tier, but I don't think he deserves B tier. I think he deserves somewhere around A. Um I know a lot of people hate him, like it's either it's either A or probably F for most people. I don't know. B for bad design. The animations are great, and the attacks look spectacular. Lore-wise, I'm still a little bit confused. I'm still waiting for like an explanation. Maybe they'll clear it up. But for right now, I'm gonna say it's like yeah, A minus. Last place A, but, but better than Demi Human. Yeah, definitely. I think I think the Divine uh, Beast Dancing Lion is better than Murdon, so I'm gonna put him right there. There's there's my official list for right now. It might change in the future. But I think this is pretty honest for me. At least don't get angry. 